So one of the main reasons that I would spend $1,500 on an electric desk is because of this. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to talk about the comparison between a $1,500 desk and also a $500 desk. So the $500 desk is the IKEA uh, Beacon, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, electric uh, sit and stand desk versus the new desky sit and stand desk that I recently um, acquired. So what is the reason why you need an electric standing desk? Um, for the obvious reasons, you want it because of agronomics. Everyone talks about um, how good is it for the health and yeah, I wouldn't believe it at first, but um, I've been using the IKEA desk for two years and has really helped in my posture because I was able to sit and stand while I'm working and editing. I spent so much time in front of a computer and in front of a desk and this is essentially very important. And yeah, without further ado, we're gonna dive into like certain specs and details to see why this $1,500 desk that I've recently upgraded, it's something that you should consider as well. And also disclaimer, this is not a sponsor post for either IKEA or Deskey. Um, I'm just doing it because I feel that this is something that I use and I just wanna share to you guys about my workflow and my workspace as well. So this is probably be the part one of the series of the review things that I'm gonna do with all my gadgets and tech. So yeah, let's move on. So first we're gonna talk about the dimension and specs for each table. For IKEA, it is only a fixed dimension, which is 1200 times 800 centimeters in total, uh, millimeters, sorry, yeah. In total like uh, width and length. While um, for desk key, it's customizable. So the one that I got is 1800 millimeters times 750 millimeters so in terms of width it's slightly shorter but um it's just a nice ample space because i used to feel that um the ikea desk is a bit wider and um there's so many empty space there that i don't know what to use on next thing we're going to talk about is something that i hate a lot and he has been causing me a lot of frustration with his cable management so for my ikea desk all my cables stuck into one side which makes it very cluttered and very messy and I don't like the fact that um, wherever I connect it to the cable I need to adjust the cable properly if I want to raise or I want to drop the height of the table I have to take consideration of all the cables that was like tied to um, the iCare desk so there was one time I think I almost dropped my MacBook because the cable was a bit short when I tried to raise it and yeah but for the desk key it's totally different. So Desky provides two types of option, um, be it like you don't want cable management or you want cable management. So if there's a cable management, they offer you four pots to eight pots from you to choose from, and all the pots are properly mounted beneath the table. That means all your cables, including your monitor cables, you know, your laptop charges and all that, can be tucked and hide beneath the table. And that's very good because the only one cable that you need to uh, connect to the power supply will be the cable to the desk. And this powers every single thing on the table. And um, so far I have like seven pots that's used and I don't find any issues when it comes to like a uh, surge or power failure and all that. So I say that um, the design is pretty well tall off in that sense. And this table comes with dual model and it's pretty strong and pretty solid. So it says on Desky website that this takes 140 kilos of weight and can see that I'm sitting on the table and as it goes up and down, it doesn't really stress the motor. But for the IKEA ones, um, 
I don't recall that they have any specs on that. And it's pretty slow and it's pretty hard to press on the button. So that moves on to point number three, the customizability of height. So one thing I love about standing desk is the ability to adjust your height. But one thing that frustrates me on it is the level of height that I have. So for my IKEA desk, I always have this issue of adjusting it up and down and I always find it hard to get back the sweet spot that I used to be very comfortable with. But with the desk key one, I can set like four presets varying to the heights that I want, be it I'm standing, sitting down, or even sitting on a stool. So this is very good because um, you can get the precise level and it doesn't stuff you up to lose micro inches and then you feel uncomfortable for the whole day. So there's a huge difference between the build quality of the IKEA desk versus the Desky desk. One very obvious difference is the tabletop. You can choose different materials for Desky. Um, for mine, I choose rubber wood, which is the kind of wood that I really love all this while because of the nice fine texture and it's not too expensive. It's, it, it falls onto a very affordable range of price. So for the IKEA desk, it only comes with one single material, which is called the particle board. So essentially, particle board is a mixture of wood chips and um, loose wood compressed together. And um, they cover it with a nice like PVC layer on top. And it comes in two colors, black and white. Oh wait, there's also the light oak color. I'm the kind of guy that likes like dark grainy tones and all that. So obviously, I opt for the walnut color and this has been the best choice ever. It just changes the whole entire atmosphere of the room, if you can see. And then let's talk about the legs. For the IKEA ones, it comes in a cylinder shape, which is not good and it's not sturdy at all. It feels very hollow. And sometimes um, the cylinder will pivot and change direction, which makes the whole table wobbly. But for the desk one, it comes in a nice rectangular solid leg. When I was installing it, I can feel the weight kudos on Desky for doing that because this gives more stability and I don't feel any wobbles when I'm like even at the highest uh, level of the desk when I'm using it. So this is very good. Touching the last point of the build quality, IKEA Desk uses uh, plastic mount bolts to lock in their legs while Desky one requires you to use Allen key to bolt everything up properly. So this also gives me more confidence because I'm using proper metal bolts to bolt up the desk and I wouldn't be afraid that it will fail on me. So overall, the build quality of the desk kit desk is definitely way better than the IKEA desk. If there's anything that I would complain about this desk so far, would be the installation part. So for delivery, uh, Desky did a really nice job in delivering all the contents here like properly uh, wrapped and properly covered. So when I get all my stuff, it's in perfect condition. So there's no dent, no scratches. However, um, I find it lacking in terms of the instruction that they gave. So whenever you buy this desk, Desky will give you a instruction on how to build a desk. So overall, building the naked layout, the basic layout of the desk, it's very easy. However, I struggle in the area, the department of cable managing. That is where I mount all my power supply on because there was nothing that's written on the piece of instruction paper. Yeah. So uh, it took me half an hour to figure out because I had to install it and take it out, install it and take it out just to find the right position how I need to manage this power supply so I can manage my cable as well. So. Yeah, instruction can be a bit blurry and difficult. So yeah, if you ask me, that's the only complaint that I will have in terms of that. So if Desky, you're listening to this, probably add a bit more detail in terms of teaching people how to do proper cable management. Because not everyone is into that and not everyone is knowledgeable to do proper ca cable management as well. I like it because I want to do it. That's why I took my time to learn it but not everyone would do that. So yeah, so overall, I'm very happy with this upgrade. And some people might say, $1,500, man, like that's so much money. I can spend money to buy other stuff and all that. No doubt, I would definitely advise you to spend money to get other stuff that you need. 
more than a desk. But if you're like me, you work from home or you work in front of the desk, you want a desk that's more reliable and that you can be happy with. For me, I love this desk so much because I use it all the time and it just lifts up the ambience of my home studio. If you have the money, you can definitely go for this. Or if you don't want to, you can still spend $4.99 for the iCare desk. Oh yeah, also, if you think that 1500 is too much, Desky also provides uh, different materials I've said. And if you're not keen to have like power supplies and cable management, the table will only cost you around six to seven hundred dollars. So you can go on to the website and check and customize based on the materials and the color of the legs that you want and also find the right costing for you. So I wouldn't say that it is, uh, if you don't have the budget, you should just go for the IKEA one. But um, I don't want to trash IKEA because most of our furniture I buy from IKEA as well. And I love IKEA products. It's just that when it comes to just a product that is solely catered for professional use, it, it, it was a hit and miss opportunity for IKEA. They could have done better in that sense. That's it. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end. I hope that whatever this content is um, serves to help you make a better decision on what table do you want and all that. But if you want to know more about it, you know, feel free to just comment down in the comment section or just uh, find me on Instagram, you know, DM me and I'll do my best to reply you guys. Um, like and subscribe the page if you haven't already. And then, um, yeah, shout out to Ben again for helping me with this content this time around. It's so good to have someone to help you shoot and you are not relying on your own estimation perception on how this video is going to be done. So I will link his profile and page at the description as well. Um, like I say, more content coming up. I apologize for constantly being so, 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 so slow in uploading my content. Just procrastinating. Yeah. And yeah, I should stop talking right now. Yeah. See you guys on the next video. So... Oh.